my channel, I'm Crafty Lady Etta. Today we're gonna do an awesome project today. So if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will always notify you of all the videos that I upload. Okay? Well, with all this being said, let's get started, come on. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Crafty Lady Etta. Guys, I know I've already done a Tree of Life, but I'm gonna show you another version of one. I, I love Tree of Life, so I, I know I've been showing you a lot of them. But that's only because I want to show you different mediums that you can use. There's all, all kinds of materials that you can make with Tree of Life. You can use potpourri, you can use moss, you can use uh, flowers and moss. I mean, <laughs> it's endless on what you can use to make a Tree of Life. So I'm just going to show you this version. Now, I just want to point out, I know that on YouTube there's been a lot of these kind of Trees of Life and that's fine, that's okay. Everybody's doing their own style. So, I'm just showing you my version. Um, I've been making a lot of these trees of life for family and friends, and they seem to really like them. So I wanna show you how I make them. I mean, it's almost very similar to the ones, the other ones that are making on YouTube, or even on Pinterest. But it, I just wanna show you how to do it, and my version of it, okay? Well, with all that being said, let's get started. Okay, first of all, you're going to need flowers. I'm going to use red flowers and a little bit of these white ones today. You're going to need some jute rope to put on the wreath. You're going to need a 14 inch uh, wreath frame. You're going to need one jingle block and you're going to need a larger jute rope. Oh and some rocks. Everything I'm showing you is from the Dollar Tree. Everything. So you could call this a Dollar Tree tree of life. And these rocks, they're also from the Dollar Tree. Okay, well, let's get started. Okay, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I wrap this on here. Okay. I'm just gonna start it off and then I'm gonna be off camera, finish it off camera. And then I'm going to show you what to do from that point on. So what I do is I just get it and I put a little bit of a hot glue at the end and I just stick it down here right about there. Where are these? You won't burn your fingers. Lord, I've burned my fingers more, more times than I can tell you. I didn't even cut my fingers with scissors. Okay, I let it dry a little bit and then I start. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to wrap it all I'm doing is I'm just wrapping it around this. Don't pull it so tight, okay? Like that. I'm doing it. It's a little tanker to me, but that's fine. If you're making this for yourself or friends or family, believe me, it'll be worth it. They're gonna love this. These trees of life are, are natural looking, and I think that's why so many people go crazy over these. these trees different ways you can make them. Um, I may be doing another one just using all wire and beads. Okay, like that. You just keep wrapping it around till you get all the way down to the end. So I'll be back when I finish, okay? Okay guys, I just want to show you how it's coming out so far. Uh, like this. You just want to get it as close as possible. Um, um, I forgot to mention one other thing you're going to need. You're going to need six popsicle sticks because we're going to make a fence. Okay? All right. Okay, guys, this, I'm finished with it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the rocks on there. Okay? I'll put the rocks about up to there. You, you know, you can determine how, how much rock you want to put the rocks on first. Some some other YouTubers I know like to put the rocks after. I'm putting the rocks before.
just have to guesstimate estimate how you know how much you want you can do the rocks up here you can do them up here however you want to do them I just put them there now what I do next is I go ahead and I start to put this now how I do it is I just measure from this end to this end that's all I do see I did the other one. Then I just measure it and do cut another piece. I will say the leftover pieces because you never know, you know. And what I do is I put these three together like this, and I just uh, start with one, and I start forming the uh, roots. I just put them on top of the rocks. I'm going to go ahead and paint it brown. Good. 
it's optional. I try to cover as much as I can. It's okay if you can see a little bit of the, of the tree. So I'm going to let it dry. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the same one. I'm going to show you how I'm going to make the picket fence. I get it and I cut the little sticks on the top. That's all. You just make a little point. part is going to be when you do the moss. That makes a big mess. Now, I'm going to paint these fences a lighter shade of brown. What I did is I got the brown and I watered it down. That's all I did. And I just colored it. We're gonna make the fence. So what I do is I get the fence and I just put them not too far apart. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. How I can tell how far apart I put them is if it fits in be if it fits along here. So if it doesn't fit, it's because I have it too wide. What I do with this, I just put a little bit of glue here on the sides. Instead of on the fence, I put it on the screen. That's the way I do it. I know other YouTubers do it different. If you know a better way, great. Maybe you could uh, suggest on the bottom a better way for me to do this. Or any of us to really do this. Let me just flip it over. This is so that the glue won't show. But this is the side I'm going to uh, and then measure it and then cut it. And 
and this side it doesn't matter. You want to make sure that the glue doesn't show on the side you're going to put the fence. And in case you ever want to do these as a gift, it won't show in the front. It doesn't matter if this is painted or not because it's going to go on the bottom. And I use this. Pick up any of the glue strings. Okay. Okay, guys, I just hot glued the this to the back. I just want to show you the back, and then here's the front. Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure that the Put on the, the I use newspaper so that the moth will get all over the newspaper. So I start here on this side. I try to make it even with this other tree because you don't want it to start here and go all the way down there. It doesn't look right. If you're going to do it, make it even with this. Okay. So I start with just a little bit at a time.
see how he did it. But it came out super cute. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put the flowers. And that'll be the last thing to do. So what I did first was I filled in all the gaps. I trimmed it down here with scissors and I trimmed it up there with scissors. I shook it a little bit to make sure all the moss will fall out. So when you hang it up, you won't have moss falling all over the place. I shook off most of the moss. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the red flowers. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut. the finished product. I thought it came out really cute. Well, if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will notify you of any and all upcoming videos and share. And with all this, all this in mind, keep on crafting. Bye! Mm -hmm.